Greg Zerline is going to handle the kickoff chores for Daryl Patterson standing about three yards deep. Tony, one of your great sayings is here we go. <laughs> Super Bowl. Let's have a day, Jim. All right. <laughs> Down to the goal line. It's Patterson. He's dangerous. He's going to try that left side. He's taken off. Down the sideline. And finally, it's Sirline, the kicker, who got hold of him. But a big return to open things for New England. And Tom Brady. Five Super Bowl wins. Zero chance, he says, that he would retire after this game, regardless of the outcome. More grateful, he says, in his heart than ever to be back at a Super Bowl again. They doubted him all year. He loves it when he gets to play the underdog role. It's been a long time. He wants this one bad. We talked about it in the opening. He wants this one as bad as he's wanted anyone. That's what he told us. Right boosted by the 38-yard return. Edelman starts in the backfield and then jogs to a slot on the left side. They run it. Michelle rips off a good run for about 13. Challenged him right up the middle. And LaMarcus Joyner, the safety, brings him down. Look at Nadama Kinsu right in the A-gap. They don't even block him. And the fullback, Devlin, has to take him on. But that's how you use his energy early in the game. Last week, he came out, went right into the backfield against the Saints in their game two weeks ago. New England uses his skill against him. Oh. Jim, I don't want to do this, but don't hand the ball off <laughs> early in this game. <laughs> Burkhead steps back and now shifts over. Devlin also on a wing. They give it to Patterson, who's able to break free, and then Johnson has hold of him. It was Sue who had a play on him, but could not bring him down. Gain of six. So the Patriots offense doing what it's done now throughout the postseason, and that's opened the game with an impressive drive already in just a couple of plays down to the 42-yard line of the Rams. They have had an opening drive touchdown in six of their last eight games. And again, including the last two. Double tight end set. Michelle the running back. And a third straight running play picks up the first down. At the 37, a gain of five. Well, I and mean, this is exactly why it's risky to give New England the ball. We were going to go into it a second ago. Their ability to run the football with new runs each game kind of puts you behind early in the game. You've got both these teams have to play from in front. I really believe the team who gets out to a 10 to nothing lead gets to play for three quarters without having to drop back and have their quarterback make play after play. The team who gets the lead early, huge advantage in this one more than normal. Out of the eye they go, back to Michelle. Little jog to the left, and he is brought down by Aaron Donald after a gain of three. And you see the ISO on Donald and Sue inside. This is a matchup that I am excited to watch Aaron Donald, the best defensive player in the National Football League, going against some of the smartest coaches in the National Football League. How are they going to double team him over and over again? Second and seven. You see him right there. We'll see if he's one on one or if Belichick has come up with a plan to double team him. Brady's pass. Ball in the air, and it's intercepted. It's picked off on his first throw by Littleton. Well, Roby Coleman gets his hand on the ball, and it's a zone drop out, and the ball goes right into his hands, and he hits it up, and Littleton is there. Let's see if he comes down with it. Oh, that looks pretty good from there. No question. And Wade Phillips, the D coordinator, the 71-year-old defensive genius, 41 years coaching in this league. His team makes the play, gets the takeaway, at the 27-yard line. And the key to this game coming in, Wade Phillips wanted to present Brady with a matchup that looked like man and play zone. Looked like zone and play man. And Brady, right at the end, knew he was making a poor decision. That ball came off his hand poorly because he knew it right when he was letting it go. Huge start for the Rams. 
Here's Goff. First snap for the Rams. It's a running play. And flying out to about the 30 is number 30, Todd Gurley. Goff threw for nearly 4,700 yards in his third season. Over 32 touchdown passes. Hit out of Northern California, 24-year-old quarterback. Raised in Novato, about 47 miles north of Tom Brady's hometown of San Mateo. Second and eight. And Goff rolling out. Van Noy has the angle on him and forces him out of bounds. Well, you saw the first play. We call it a stretch zone. And you see, you're going to see Gurley get wide and then cut all the way back across the field, and they have a bunch of people going back and forth. This is the number one play the Rams beat people. How you defend it, though? A couple teams. Penetration. You go straight up field. You don't go sideways. You don't follow them across the field. The Patriots got to get vertical, just like they did on that bootleg. They ruled that Goff actually got the pass away before he was out of bounds, so it goes down as an incompletion. Saves Los Angeles a couple of yards. And out of the gun on third and eight. Across the middle, and that's incomplete. There were two Patriots there to defend it. Trying to find Reynolds. And there was pressure coming up the middle from Hightower. Well, you're going to see Hightower's here. And he comes all the way across, but it's Claiborne who actually gets right inside there. 94 and puts the hit. Boy, Claiborne, a former Atlanta Falcon, played in the first game here on this field when it opened back in the fall of 2017. So Johnny Hecker punts. Edelman turns around on the return, and he's going to lose yardage on the run back. I think New England needs to run the football. They can't ask Tom to drop back 45 times. Going to run it here. Going to run him quickly as Michelle is dragged down by Brockers. What do you think the Rams defense needs to do that you saw both the Chiefs and Chargers opponents against the Patriots not do? Well, the first thing you have to do is you got to get up in the face of these wide receivers, these tight ends. Don't give up little passes to the back. Make Tom Brady throw intermediate routes. He's got to hold on to the ball and take, you know, a hit. He hasn't been, he hasn't moved from the pocket this postseason. They need to make him hold on to the football, and the way to do that, play man and blitz him sometimes. Second and nine, quick pass, and nothing's there. Actually, Dante Fowler was closer to the football than Sony Michelle. And it's a simple screen. This is where the teams have gotten hurt the last two weeks. They allow you just to throw simple passes to the back and not make the quarterback drop back to pass. You got to make Tom Brady play from the pocket. McDaniels, the last two games, allowed him just to make little throws, and then he did, wasn't asked to be Tom Brady till the end of the game. Wade Phillips, he's not going to allow that to happen. Third and nine. Brady's pass to Edelman, and he's able to beat to lead to the James. This is just too safe. Edelman's going to go up, and Tlaib is just playing too safe on third and nine. You know, Edelman, during the postseason, he has, has often been the case, a difference maker. Now, with 14 catches in the postseason, 12 of them going for first downs. Now, they've run it every time so far on first, the first four times. Make it five. Oh, and what a hit. My goodness. And Dominican Sue and Dante Fowler busting across with quick contact on Michelle. And this is why the Rams can really wreck the game inside. They get vertical. We just talked about it with the Patriots. If you get vertical, which means just go into the backfield, you can hit them on your way by the Rams. When they want to shut the run down, they can. Second and 14. Take the end around. And again, it's Roby Coleman making the quick stick on Burkhead. We do have a marker on the field.
Personal foul, defense, number 56, hit on a defenseless player. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Call on Dante Fowler, John Perry, the referee from back in Super Bowl 46 as well when the Giants and New England played in Indianapolis. And here is the... The hit, that's not the call right there. It's called on Fowler. It's not on Fowler either. I, I don't know exactly who the call is on. If they were, I think it's on 23, yeah. and, and they're calling it. It's called on what, helmet to helmet hit? I think he has to give him enough time to become a runner is why you, you can't hit him. Bring in Gene's territory. In the head or neck part. area, I believe. Here's a first down handle. And Brookhead bounces off a of one tackle, picks up about five. Gene, what happened back there? Although he makes that catch, we still have to have that moment where he can become a defined runner in the time to protect himself. So the contact to the head or neck area before he gets that time to become a runner and protected, that's why they called the foul. Of course, the uncalled DPI last week, two weeks ago down in New Orleans on Roby Coleman. This time he draws a flag in the first quarter. Yeah, that's that's a huge play. I mean, you're looking at third and 20. And you're getting the ball back. Second and five. Over to Burkhead for a first down. Johnson runs him out. Gain of eight. No one's as good as the Patriots. Just watch right over here. Grock, go give me a little screen up here. Just go up here and kind of run through people. And you two, Edelman, and we'll just throw the ball to the flat. These guys are so in sync with these little plays that end up getting seven, eight yards, but they get out of the quarterback's hands so quickly. They've gotten a little bit of Bill Walsh from the 80s, the way they line up and do some of this stuff. Got a timeout call by New England. Patriot timeout, mid first. Brady has now had 94 dropbacks in the postseason has not been sacked once. Well, that's a lot to do with the plan that Josh McDaniels. The Patriots are fantastic at using your strength against you. And in Kansas City, they weren't going to let the strength of Kansas City just, hey, we're going to drop back and pass and let you pass rush us all day. You can't let them throw these little passes, Jim. We're going to keep saying it over. If they can just throw it to the flat or the running backs, we won't beat them. Here's a first and ten out of the Patriot timeout. Down the middle, Gronkowski. And he tiptoes out of bounds after a gain of about 17. Well, well, Gronk is right here, but look at the linebackers and watch how they go right downhill. This is the trouble when you play zone against the Patriots. If you play zone, you have to all of a sudden we run. I'm going to go make the play. Oh, no. Nope. Then you got to get out of it. If you're a man, you're just following your gut. Now, they're going to do both today. But the key spots, they better go man and double team the right players. Down to the Rams, 33. Burkhead running. And he is knocked down after a couple. That's it. This is hard to believe, but they have never had a first quarter touchdown in the previous eight Super Bowls with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. I tell you what, they should they should probably start somebody else then. <laughs> Just so you get off to a good start. I mean, you know, that's it's one of those stats that last two games they went nine minute drives, it felt like, and mm -hmm. took the heart out of your opposing team right away in that first half. This is a perfect start for both defenses today. Second and eight. They had never scored in the first quarter until last year when they kicked the field goal. Brady's going to the end zone and tight coverage provided. Coverage on Hogan by Marcus Peters. There was nothing there. Well, this is exactly how I would defend Brady. Make him throw the ball outside the numbers. Use these safeties to defend everybody inside. So, Gronk, you got a lot of safeties. You're going to have to take a little guy in Hogan, and you're going to have to throw go routes. They don't have this vertical threat. The guy outside is big and tall. He can go jump up and go make all these plays at the wide receiver position. Wade knows that, and that was tight man coverage inside. Patriots have converted already in this quarter, a third and nine. This is a third and eight. Well, you got the best matchup to Lee on Gronk at the top. And another timeout called by New England. 
All right, Brady's had to burn off a couple of timeouts on this drive. And now he comes out of the huddle with a third and eight. Well, and this is where we keep saying there's two matchups. You got Brock and Tlaib up top. And then how does Aaron Donald get one-on-one -on -one inside? Going to run it. And the Rams are wise to it. That is Fowler quickly on James White. Holds him to two. And Guskowski will attempt a field goal. Well, it worked last week. They kept running the ball in third down and worked repeatedly over and over again. And how about this? In the games this year, the Falcons games, there was not a missed field goal in this stadium. A couple of PATs that were missed, but all kickers, Falcons and opponents, 31 of 31. Guskowski from 46 out. Did you do it to him again? <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't blame the announcer. Guskowski. No good. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's almost just automatic when you go 31 for 31 and tell the world. Was that one of your predictions? No, that's I not. I'm not predicting. No more. Super Bowls. That one off the mark from 46. Rams take over at the 36. That's a give to Woods. Trying to get around Wise. And runs into Chung after a gain of about four, maybe five. And let's bring in Tracy. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. A lot has been made over the last two weeks about Todd Gurley's usage in the NFC Championship game. I spoke to someone close to the team this morning who told me this is Todd Gurley's game. They want him to run early and often. C.J. Anderson will be in the usual role. He will try and spell Gurley, keep him fresh, and make sure that knee doesn't become an issue. McVay, though, not afraid to go with a hot hand if he wants to, but he wants Gurley to be successful and ultimately walk away as the Super Bowl MVP, Jim. Well, he almost apologized for how little he used him. He had a pass bounce off his hands early in the game last week. And here's Goff connecting Reynolds. Step back to make the move. And the Rams are on the New England side of the field. That's a gain of 11. Reynolds tackled down at the 49. That's the first completion for Goff. That pass with pressure falls incomplete. Stay tuned for music's biggest moment of the year, the Pepsi Super Bowl 53 halftime show. Don't miss Maroon 5, Travis Scott, and Big Boy coming up at halftime. Maroon 5 donating $500,000 in front of this performance to the National Boys and Girls Club. Second and 10 coming up here, Tony. Well, my mic works again, so I can talk. This works out perfect. I was saying such good stuff on that play earlier, Jim. It was fantastic. And here's the pass to Woods take the pass underneath for about seven and this is how the Patriots want to play they want to turn Jared Goff into a drop back passer early in this game don't let him bootleg don't let him hand the ball off make him drop back and read it over and over and they think they can get off the field on these third and three third and fours well, you got a third and three right here you got to respect the run here but I expect him to work vertically. Everyone inside is going to go this way. Goff comes in. Knocked out of the hands of Woods as Chung with a big hit in the back. Well, Chung comes down from the safety position and great timing to get his hand right in there. Perfect technique on the throw to Woods, who the Rams like to use. On third down. Boy, the Rams took a long time before they brought out Hecker. You got to be careful with him. Uh, this is almost too obvious of a yeah, fake. I, I mean, I feel like if you fake it here, it's just like you must have run a play. It's the same thing. Because he had the big momentum turning around pass last week against New Orleans when they were down 13 nothing. Trying to get the Patriots to jump. Did they get him? 
with all that shifting around. Well, this is when you're like, hey, I think I, I may have blown the whistle a little early, it's but I don't think I can not throw the flag. So give me something. What do you like? Do you like offsides? And if it is or offsides, you, it's first down. Or do you like it uh, false start? I think they got to call this. There's too fast a movement by the, the Rams. I mean, you can't just run. It has to be a simulated motion. Prior to the neutral zone infraction, delay a game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. He's asking uh, special teams coach what happened. And John Fossil, he is uh, extraordinary at that position. His father, Jim, of course, the head coach of the Giants in Super Bowl 35 down in Tampa some 20 years ago. You know how big that play was last week, like you said, against the Saints, just the ability for them to line up and throw a football with your punter. You have to be prepared on every play. Yeah. Angles this one. Yeah. We'll see where they mark this one. He didn't quite get it where he wanted on the angle. Tony, what have you seen so far in this game as far as if you're the Rams yeah. side of this? Well, and you've seen the Patriots move the football but not come up with anything. Well, what's happening is the Patriots are trying to run the football at Aaron Donald. The way to neutralize the great player, you want to run it right at him. He's lining up on this side. So I think the Rams have figured that out, and that's why they're setting pressure right at him. Here's hand off to Michelle. And he's pushed back after three, maybe four. And Tom Brady... <laughs> We said before the game, it's almost indescribable. Nine appearances. That's more than the Steelers franchise history. The Cowboys have eight. Denver has eight. And what did he say to us when we met with him the other day? Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd go to nine Super Bowls. That's Edelman diving for the first down. And Edelman's just too good. You can't match him up with a linebacker. I feel like you get caught in it sometimes. Sometimes you don't. But on this second down play, you know, Ebukam just can't cover him one on one. And I understand you're going through different calls, and you got to be right. Can't be right every time. Here's the pass. Almost intercepted. Very nearly into the arms of Marcus Peters. And the pass was intended for Hogan. And Brady tries to dice the seam, and he's going to want this back because right over the ball, and he knows right now he can't tell the difference between man and zone. Give Wade Phillips credit to start this game. Brady seeing it after the snap. He's not getting the pre-snap. What he's used to seeing, it's looking very similar, man and zone. And that was a good tip by Barry. Now a second and ten from the 30. So you see how he motioned over there? You think it's man-to-man, -man, but then all of a sudden they'll drop out and play zone sometimes. I can protect it. That leaves Edelman open. And shoved out by Tlaib. Third catch for Edelman here in the opening quarter. This is just a great route. This is why Edelman has, like, a gazillion catches in the playoffs. I mean, just, he wins by five yards. That's an easy throw catch for a quarterback. Second most catches in the postseason all time behind Jerry Rice. Pretty good company there, huh? First down, play action. Brady with all kinds of time. Now in trouble, and the ball's out. Recovered by New England. Well, what effort by the Rams in just continuing to push the pocket. And you look at you got all the backups in. And Franklin Myers gets his hand down there. He got around Tooney. And Andrews was in trouble at the same time. Some big defensive plays going on in this game so far. Westbrook's provided pressure. So that's the first sack of the postseason of Tom Brady. It took uh, 100 pass plays to get there, second and 19. Trying to get a lot of it back. Gronk. So hard to bring down. 
That picks up 14. Coming up on the Toyota Super Bowl today halftime report. Join JB, Phil, Nate Boomer, Coach Cower, all the highlights from the first half. That'll be coming up on the Toyota Super Bowl today halftime report. So they get out of that long situation on second and 19, down to a third and manageable number here. Third and five for Josh McDaniels and this New England offense. Third time already residing on the Rams side of the field. From the gun, Brady feeling the heat and had to get rid of it. Aaron Donald was all over him. And this is why Wade Phillips is as good as anybody in the league. See the middle linebacker make him think he's coming? That gets Aaron Donald to get the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and he runs right into Andrews, and there's no chance. And look at this little throwdown. It's not that little. No. <laughs> Tongue in cheek. Another position here where you can easily run a fake. Now here is Ryan Allen, who did not punt last year in the Super Bowl. Picks up and off of this, and we get Matthew Slater. Excel again, getting down as he always does to cover up kicks inside the 10. And they'll mark it at about the six. You got to be impressed with the defensive line of the Los Angeles Rams and just how they've started this football game. I mean, they've made Brady speed up his internal clock. Wade Phillips has made it difficult to determine if it's man or zone before the snap. Brady's having to read it after. It's a perfect start for their defense. And now the Rams have an opportunity to go down and take the lead. But they have to start pinned near the five. That punt was the first one by New England in its last 20 drives in Super Bowls. How long had it been? So it's been short work on the field and not all that successful for the Rams. 24 yards of offense so far. You see how tight everybody is? The Rams are one of the few teams who put everyone right there next to the quarterback so they can hand off to anybody. Going to hand it off here to C.J. Anderson, who's been quite a fine, Tony. He yeah. has, and he's come in and really given this team a boost at the end of the year. The Rams on the field, only three minutes and change in that first quarter. They have possession here to start the second at their own 11. Well, both D lines are controlling the game. New England's not trying to go sideways. They're going right at you. They're, I keep trying to tell you, they go this way. They're not going to go sideways when you go sideways. Here's Anderson taken down around the neck area by Wise. And a flag is out. Ball start. Offense. Number 79. Five-yard penalty. Second down. The Rams are predicated on moving sideways. So watch the snap. You'll see a little bit of a false start. But you see how they're rolling? And then a fantastic clothesline. The greatest since the longest yard. Yeah. Cole Kobe didn't be proud of that one. Didn't. Second and ten. Stand on the ground with Anderson plowing ahead out to about the nine. And it's... Wise, who has the tackle. Well, they picked up Anderson late in the year, and he's no stranger to playing in Super Bowls. This is his third. There's Wise, who's been dealing with uh, an ankle injury and was inactive the first two postseason games. Gurley, who wanted to see more action. McVay, who wanted to give it to him, has only one touch so far, Tony. Well, it's getting tougher because they're slowing it down. I think Belichick wants to pretend like he's bringing a bunch of pressure. And he's going to send some guys from different spots here. You're going to see a little bit of pressure where you can't determine. Jared Goff's young. You're going to get like, oh, look at this, and then look at this guy come. And there's only going to be about four of them, five of them at most. Third and seven, ball deflected at the line. And it might have been a dangerous throw anyway because the Patriots were jumping in front of that route. But it was headed to Robert Woods. John Simon got a hand on it. And he might be lucky that he did because that ball was going the other way. Exactly in the middle of the field, and this is where you watch the tape and golf. When you send people, you don't have to blitz seven guys. You just want to rush four or five, but make it look like they're coming from different spots where it's exotic. Goff is young. Belichick knows that, so he thinks he can make him feel pressure and make that ball come out, and really, he should have got him there. Third punt for Hecker. And that's going to bounce around midfield and roll out. 
to about the 36. 54 yard punt. Here's a look at what the quarterbacks have done in early action. And keep in mind, New England's had eight first downs. Los Angeles, one. Yeah, they're on fire. Yeah. Not quite the firepower of last year's 41-33 final. Well, you need to give both these defensive, you know, coaching staffs credit because they've come out with a perfect plan to stop the opposing offense. And Wade Phillips, Bill Belichick, and Brian Flores, I mean, absolutely ideal with the way that they're starting the game and their plan on how to defend their opponent. Donald not out there for this first snap. Brady finding Edelman, and he's twisted out. All right to leave. Gain of six. Well, early miscue happens because you see it looks like it's man to man, and it turns into zone, and that makes Brady have a miscue. A lot of zone by the Rams, and then you see the miss kick that Jim called right before. I'm <laughs> no, just kidding, but the you know this game is really fortunate for. I would say both teams really, that they're both tied. But the Rams have to get a first down at some point. They got one for the entire game so far. Here's the second four for the Patriots. And Kowski, good piece of tackling to keep him short by Littleton. So it'll be third and a long one. You see how Brady had to throw that though, right when he hit his fifth step? When that happens, it just, this is an early part of the game for him to have to Drop back on first down, drop back on second down, get a first. Now you can run or something. But usually you want to wait till the third, fourth quarter to say, Tom, why don't you go ahead and do Tom Brady? It's, it's pretty early for him being asked to just drop back and pass on each play. He's going to go out of the gun from third and a long yard. Donald has returned to the field. Lined up over the left guard. Brady protected, throws wide open. Edelman. And he'll step out at the 29. Well, Edelman is making it a joke. Just look at the double team on Donald and then a chip on Sue. But watch this, Rod Edelman. Just no, I mean, you're he's 10 yards away from Roby Coleman. I mean, it's almost laughable to think that you're going to cover him one on one. I think at this point, Wade Phillips will start adjusting. And he'll have to double team. The problem was it's third and one. You got to stop the run. That was his second catch that went for 25. He's got five catches overall for 74. And now inside the 30. There's the handoff to Patterson. And the Rams hold him to no gain, including Mark Barron on the tackle. Sue there as well. And they call that the jet sweep. When a receiver comes across, there's the fly sweep, the jet sweep. And you hand him the ball. And it was a good plan by New England coming in. Watch coming across the screen. Both these teams do this a lot. And you wanted to do it to Sue because you didn't think he'd be prepared playing a lot of defensive end in this game. They're moving around quite a bit. Yep, inside, outside. Gronkowski at the top of the screen. Second down and nine. Brady looking the other way, incomplete. Wouldn't have been any gain anyway. Hogan. The intended target. And now third and nine. Well, Brady, he understands he's got to get this ball out fast. And if they're just going to keep asking him, now third down, he's going to have to keep throwing it under duress because the more you have to drop back early, it just gets tougher and tougher. James See? White is in the game, Tony. Yeah. He's trying to gauge who's on who. Third and nine. Gronkowski. And he has stopped well short of the first. Littleton and Barron trip him up. And we'll see Gaskowski for the second time. It's going to be about 41 yards, maybe 42. Kaskowski and Gronk comes up limping out of that last couple of weeks been about as healthy as he's been all season yeah he's been running better From 42 yards the kick it's good 
First points of the game off the leg of Gaskowski. Here's where Frankowski got nicked on the third down stop. Waiting to see when this Rams offense is able to get some sort of rhythm and timing. Like you say, just one first down is hard to do it. Second leading scoring team in the league this year. High kick. It must be returned. Natson. He's shifty. Ooh, he's quick. To about the 28. Now it was 17 years ago today when the Patriots won their first of five over the Rams. Now let's do the 17 year challenge. Well, you see, 17 years ago, Tom Brady looked older, I think. <laughs> Sean McVay looked like he was in kindergarten. And Jared Goff was in kindergarten. He was. Playing up in the Marin County area north of San Francisco, and here he is under center. And again, they'll stay with Anderson, not Gurley, in the backfield. It's Anderson. Quick cut to go outside, back inside. And it's a nice run for five. Not the only 17 year challenge, by the way. Oh. <laughs> ah. Got a little attitude there. Well, you know what? You look like a young Bill Belichick there. Is that right? <laughs> you got a little hint there, don't you? I've heard that. <laughs> second, second and five. So Bill Belichick has gone against this scheme so many times. It's why they're having a lot of success in this running game right here. You've got to take shots down the field now. Here's your shot. Goss pass. That's caught, but I don't believe. Did he have the feet down? The bench area, of course, trying to give them a convincing case, and it is ruled on the far side as they catch for 18. Look at Woods. I'd throw the flag if I was New England. Not in time. Goff to Cooks, and Gilmore throws him down. And again, the Rams are trying to do a little officiating on the sideline on that tackle. An excellent job, though, being prepared. Give McVay credit, Goff getting their team up to the line and snapping that football. Yeah. Gave them an 18 yard play. Watch the feet. It's the left foot. We know the right gets down. Ah, it would have been close. Might have had that left foot down yeah. when he had possession. Yep, it would have been close. Then after the three yard pass to Cook, second and seven. Anderson, Matt in the backfield. Danny Shelton. Well, this is why it's difficult. This is a great plan by Belichick. He's not going to go sideways. He's going to go vertical. Watch him. He just goes straight up the field. You have two guys in the backfield. It's not only Danny Shelton. It's also John Simon. It's just they're not trying to go sideline to sideline. And where is Todd Gurley? You see him on the sideline. He got the carry on their first snap of the game, and he hasn't touched the football since. Jim, the 10. Jim, you tell me who's coming, who's not. And there's only going to be four at the end of it. Goff throws it off his back foot. Incomplete. Reynolds was the receiver. Jason McCourty in coverage. And this is this is exactly how we keep describing. Someone's open outside. And Woods is open, but Goff feels like a lot of people are coming. There's only four or five at most, but he feels like there's a lot because you can't determine who's the down lineman and who's pressuring or not, and he feels that. Yeah, I feel, he had the felt flowers in the neighborhood. But you're also not being able to tell who came and who didn't, and young quarterbacks, they don't quite be like, okay, only four guys are coming, I'll just slide to the left, and Woods is open on the sideline. Here's Hector. Punt number four. Edelman retrieves it at the 10. And Munt leaves him on the sideline. Of course, it was a slow start down in New Orleans for the Rams a couple of weeks ago, down 13-0 early in that game. Yeah, a little different, though, because down there, you couldn't even hear. So they have a lot of calls at the line of scrimmage, and it was impossible for the quarterback to even call the play in the huddle in the Superdome. That's Burkhead to the 20 for three. What have you seen out of Aaron Donald so far? He's disruptive. Early on, they ran at him. Now they try and run away from him. He's so good from the backside in the run game. But here's where Wade Phillips, he gets one-on-one -on -one matchups for him like nobody 
really in the National Football League can create that. You just bluff with your linebacker so the offensive lineman feels like, okay, I gotta block this guy. And then you can't go help on Donald. By the time you get there, it's late. And if you're gonna keep dropping back, you better watch that matchup right there. Second and seven. Brady looks for a second option. Ball was dropped. That was Michelle with Littleton running with him. And let's go down to Evan Washburn. Well, Jim, you guys touched on it. Might not be the Superdome, but the noise disparity between when New England has the ball and L.A. is palpable. You can see New England moving and communicating with ease. In L.A., it is really loud, and it's clearly helping New England's defense in this game. See what the Rams defense can do on a third and seven. Patriots two out of five on third. Brady dropped back. Complete. Fight to the yardage. Going to be stopped short. Again, it was Littleton who's in on so many plays. Second team all pro. Holds him to five. And now Allen will punt for the second time. Well, it's just the pressure. Brady has no more time to scan the field. And this is... I know it's early and New England's winning, but they're having to drop back early and often in this game. And that's allowing the Rams to start to tee off a little bit, and that plays a role as the game keeps moving on. JoJo Natson's the returner. There's never been a punt return for a touchdown in Super Bowl history. Oh, did you do it again? Flag is down. Natson breaks the tackle and... Loses the angle at about the 33. The flag is back all the way back at the 17. It's a 53-yard punt by Allen, who holds the longest punt in Super Bowl history from a few years During back. During the kick, holding, kicking team, number 59. 10-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First and 10, timeout. And with that penalty added, that'll put the football for Los Angeles somewhere around the 43. The hold on McClellan. Toyota Super Bowl today halftime report. So it's actually marked at the 45. Gurley's back in, and he's got the carry for about five. And for more on Todd Gurley, down to Tracy. Jim, the Rams told me there is nothing to report on Todd Gurley. All I can tell you is I was told he was going to be heavily involved with this game plan. But with that knee injury, he could wake up and it could just not feel right. We watched him in practice this week. He ran hard, took a lot of reps, but definitely favored it. Walking back to the huddle, I've been watching him. He's been stretching. He's been on the bike. Just had a conversation with C.J. Anderson and his running backs coach. We'll see if he could get more involved, Jim. All right, thanks, Trace. Two straight carries for him. He's about two yards shy. Of course, he aggravated that knee that he injured his junior year down the road in Athens at Georgia. Torn ACL. Still was taken 10th overall coming out in 2015. But he missed weeks 16 and 17 against the Cowboys in the playoffs of the divisional round. He went over 100. Looked strong last week. Didn't play much. Seemed to make a few mental miscues early. Uh, you're not going to take chances early in a game. Ball goes off his hands. Interception. Didn't like another play. We go with the hot hand. That hot hand was Anderson. Here's third and two. And they move the chains. All kinds of time for Goff. He's now flushed out. And he is walked to his knees by Van Noy. This is a Bill Belichick special. Third and two. He plays two high safeties. They're not fooled by this play action. They were expecting it. You don't play two safeties that far off the ball on that. That's going against every tendency. He broke it right there. And that was him winning the battle of minds between the play caller on both sides of the ball. Van Noy seems to do this every game. Make plays like that in the backfield. The Patriots leading tackle of the season. Hecker having a busy start to this game. Backward bounce at the 21. And finally covered up at about the 27. Kaiser, the one who downed it. They want to move the ball better. 
but they feel good about what they're doing right now to New England. You said 28-24, the team of 24 will be stopped at the end trying to drive in for the win. Now Brady on first down. Edelman again, his sixth catch, and he's picked up another first down. He's been the biggest offensive star of this first half. Well, just look at him. I mean, he almost didn't know what to do because he he's like, oh, I beat you by so much. It's going to keep moving. And it's time now. You just keep running your offense. You have plenty of time. You have one timeout, but there's so much time. Run the ball, hand off, play action one, and then throw it to Edelman over and over again. Burkett, look in the middle. And out to about the 40, and Donald with the tackle. Stay tuned again for music's biggest moment of the year, the Pepsi Super Bowl 53 halftime show. Don't miss Maroon 5, Travis Scott, and Big Boy coming up at halftime, which is closing in with just three minutes to go in this first half. Here we get the yardage numbers, 49 total yards for the Rams. Edelman's picked up five first downs on his six catches. Again, the Rams have only two as a team. Second and seven. It's Edelman again. And he's going to find that first down yardage for the sixth time in this half. Gain of nine. Well, this is where Brady does a fantastic job. He motions the back end, puts him in the backfield. He knows it's zone. So he says, okay, I know it's zone. I can throw to somebody very quick right over the ball. Everyone pops out of there. Ball over the ball, 10 yards. Edelman going to have a day with 21 catches and 311 yards. <laughs> it's, it's tracking that way. It's pretty close. Seven for 93. And we're approaching the two-minute mark. Brady's not going to run a play. Try to draw him off. We reached the two-minute warning. New England near midfield. Three-nothing Patriots. You're watching Super Bowl 53 on CBS. The owners, Stan Kroenke, owner chairman, Los Angeles Rams, the Kraft family of New England, Danny, Robert, and Jonathan. Two minutes to go in the first half, and the Patriots, Tony, decided not to run a play on the north side of the two-minute warning. Well, that's smart. They have one timeout. They don't want Los Angeles to have the chance to get the ball back. And if you run a play there, you give them a better chance of getting the ball back. Here's Brady looking all the way over to Patterson. Two Rams come in on them, and they bring it down. Remember, New England has one timeout. They use the two on that one series in the first quarter. The second and five now. Late sub onto the field here. Barron, oh, total confusion. They've got him. And Gronkowski unable to make the catch, but the flag comes out. At the snap, 12 men on the field. Defense, five-yard penalty, results, first down. There was, there was more than 12 men. <laughs> between 13 and 18. Somewhere actually. there. Might as well make it count. So you got first and 10. You're in field goal range already if you got to the end of the half. Now, if there's so much time, you're not yet, but... Really, if you're Tom Brady, you have all the time in the world. You just got to make sure you don't give this ball back. Obviously, with a turnover, but right now, you just don't want to have three incompletions and give it right back to him and have an opportunity. You got to get one first down to make a manageable field goal. That's all you're looking for. If you can run the ball, you hand it off right here. First down at the 41. And trying to work that pass around a defender thrown a little low for James White. And this was a screen pass. I mean, it's the same for them as a run. They wanted to get this ball, make sure the clock was running. Now the clock stops. And you see James White, he goes up, pretends to chip. And Brady just shorts arm, arms it a little bit. He's used to the timing being a little different. Of course, two years ago in the Super Bowl, White had 14 receptions. Scored 20 points, which is a Super Bowl record, including the winner in overtime. Brady's pass. Headed back in the direction, incomplete for White. I think when Tom goes and looks at the first half, 
They're trying to double Edelman, but Edelman can't be covered. Look at how wide open he becomes there. And Roby Coleman has help inside, but Tom's getting touched on each play. You remember how, how this team worked last week on third and ten. Three straight they hit on against the Chiefs. You called every one of them. This is a Rams defense that has not allowed an opponent to convert on third and ten or longer since week 14. The last 20 attempts of third and ten or longer, the Rams have stopped them. Let's see what happens here. Brady, pass. Patterson. They have the whistle, rule them down a yard short. Well, this is difficult. I would take a timeout. And it's a great job by the Rams. I think that's a fantastic timeout call. You get an opportunity for the ball, or you make them go for it. They don't get to take it all the way down. The tackle by Peters to make sure Cordero Patterson doesn't get the yardage. And that's Tlaib hitting his former teammate. Wade Phillips has done eight different things in this game. Zone, man, pressure, double teaming the different players. The only thing I keep seeing that keeps coming up is they can't cover Edelman. Even when he's double teamed, he still keeps winning the leverage. A guy's inside, a guy's outside. He keeps winning. Wade Phillips, a perfect game plan in this first half, as well as Bill Belichick. And the Patriots keep their offense on the field on fourth and one. Now heads up, Brady's going to look out here. He wants to see, bring the back in. Is that a man or zone? You see who's on him? It's 26. It's man-to-man -man coverage. That's ba it. Barron on him. Fourth and one from the pocket, and it's incomplete. Trying to find Gronkowski, and Johnson was able to make the play, and Wade Phillips salutes his defense. Well, it's really not the first option. Gronk has two people around him. That was tipped first by Littleton. Yes, Little. It's Littleton. Really, they're trying to throw the ball to the back on a pick play, and Wade Phillips runs the defensive end out and covers him, and he has to throw to Gronk late. Oh. So the Rams take over on downs. The last thing New England wanted, give the Rams a chance at momentum going into the half. And the Rams have two first downs and will be receiving the third quarter kick. They could double up here if they play it smartly. Goff taken down by Hightower. If you're the Rams, you don't call a timeout. Now you're way behind the chains. You want to just get into a, a play. You got to make sure now it's lower percentage. You're going to try and be a little aggressive on this play. Second and 16. Fires it. Cooks comes back to catch it. And he stepped inside the first down yardage to make that catch. Now you're, you're snapping it really quick. Hand the ball off or throw a slant quickly. Third and two. Pass low. Intended for Woods. And Woods just needed to be flatter. He kind of got upfield, made it a difficult throw for Jared Goff. So that series fizzles out as well. Rams haven't done much in this half, have they? Two first downs, 57 total yards. Sixth punt on the way. Belichick has a way of not letting high-flying offenses just come out and show you how high-flying they are, huh? That's just what we've seen the last two games, too, where they shut down both the Chiefs and Chargers in the first half. That pass, or that punt, bounding down to the two. And it's down at that point by Hodge after 58 yards by Hecker. Well, that'll be the end of the first half. And if you like offensive football, well, too bad. If you like defensive football, well, there you go. <laughs> You're having a grand old time. <laughs> it's going to be the second lowest scoring first half in Super Bowl history. Which Super Bowl was that? That was Super Bowl nine. The Steelers in Minnesota, which 
Of course, the Steelers won at Tulane Stadium in New Orleans. Now, this is interesting because you got to down it, but you got to stay in, obviously, your territory. That's why if that ball would have got down inside the one, they'd have had to run a play. But that's the first half. Jim, I think the first half really. We've already described it in many ways. The biggest thing was that you called the missed field goal <laughs> before it happened early. Otherwise, it's well, 6 zero. Just stating a fact that, well, no one had missed the whole season. You're going to see some adjustments. You're going to see an adjustment by both these coaches now coming out of second half, in the second half. Inside. The Rams are used to running wide to inside. They now need to go inside to wide. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it basically means you need to bounce the ball. Run the ball wide. Get outside and run to the numbers. That's how you're going to run the ball on the Patriots against the front and the way they're attacking you. So Kiskowski sets the second half in motion by driving it into touchback territory. And let's bring out Jared Goff, who was 5 out of 12 in that first half, 52 yards. It's the second fewest first half passing yards in his young career for Goff. Only fewer was the 27 yards he had in the first half at New England his rookie year. So the Patriots have done it in each of the halves, first halves they played against Goff 2016 and here in the Super Bowl. And again, it was a silent half for Todd Gurley, Tony. Three carries, 10 yards. Yeah, absolutely the worst start for the Rams possible. But this is now the game. The game starts over right now for both teams. You're in a position, it's three to zero. Who cares about the first half? If you're the Rams, Come out, make your adjustments, run your offense, and Gurley's back in, Jim. They fake it to him. Down the middle, they zip in, and it's almost intercepted. Hightower was in front of Reynolds. Well, they came out, and this is one of their adjustments. The difference was Hightower was prepared for that play. It's a play action, and Hightower gets right into the window where Goff tries to put it in. Goff, lucky. He didn't get it. Let's give Bill Belichick and Flores credit, Jim. I mean, look at this. You talk about the top two scoring offenses in the league this season, the last two games, and they shut them out each in the first half. And there is finally Curley able to break one. They finally got. Their break. Now watch. This is what they do. Stretch and then cut back up. It's been neutralized the whole game until now. In some ways, you think the Rams might. I mean, that's their core play right there. They've only tried it. New England stopped it three times early, and they're like, okay, we're done. We're doing other stuff. It Keep went for 16. And a new set of downs at the 41. Just their third first down of the game. Back to Gurley, bursting to the outside and lowers the head for another five or six, and we go down to Evan Washburn. Well, Jim spoke to Bill Belichick coming out of the tunnel to start the second half and asked him if this would be the style and pace in the second half that we saw in the first. He wasn't ready to commit to that, said, I don't know. Asked him what will be the separator here in the second half, and he pointed to the offense, being able to string together some more plays. Felt like they did it at times, but obviously need to do it much more here in the second, guys. You saw some concern over the face of Bill Belichick because Patrick Chung, Chung. was injured Chung injured on the tackle, and we're going to step aside for a moment. They're applying an air cast to the right arm of Patrick Chung as his teammates stand around and support. Chung, who was injured last year in the Super Bowl game against Philadelphia and was concussed and was not available at the end of that one. Well, that's a big loss. I really feel like Chung is one of those players that does so much for this defense. They use a few guys in a lot of different ways. And all week he spent, this team play actions more than anybody in the NFL, the Rams. Those safeties have to do an incredible job of understanding where the route combinations are coming from and where to go not to get beat on these down the field passes. This is a, this is a more important I really feel like based on what the Rams do, they, they play action 35%, Jim. Those safeties 
have to be in position to not give up big plays. And there you see, Deron Harmon comes in for him. Second and five. And it's Gurley trying to churn out something. No game. Now Harmon comes in for Chung. And Harmon, they know him as the closer at New England because 12 of his 18 career picks have come in the fourth quarter. Some real game-saving situations. So let's see if Belichick decides to go with the same plan, which is you're pressuring with four or five guys, but you're making it look like it's coming from different spots. Everyone stands around a little bit. Let's see. Third and five. Goff has not completed a third down throw. Now 0 for 6. Gilmore bats it down, denying Cooks. I mean, this coverage is phenomenal. It's just, Gilmore's just too good. He, he's been doing this all year. Cooks runs a good route, but there's really just nowhere to throw that ball. I mean, Gilmore's running the route with him. He's been this way for the last half of the year, Jim, you called it, to have a lockdown corner with the way that Belichick knows how to stop, you know, the running game and some of your play action stuff just with scheme it's a really tough combination it's brought a lot of honor to that number 24 which once belonged to Ty Law who was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame yesterday Ty Law the former corner for the Patriots fair catch by Edelman down at the seven what a first half force he was in the passing game seven catches 93 yards two of them went for 25 well, you see, just no chance. If he's one-on-one, -on -one, there's nobody who can guard him on this Rams team. And look at now it's covered two. He finds a soft spot and sits down. He just, I mean, when he's been double teamed, he's been open. If, if I'm Tom Brady, I'm like, you know what? I don't care what the coverage is. I'm throwing the ball to you. You keep doing what you're doing. Johnny Hecker just launched his seventh punt. That's more punts than he's had in any, any single game this season. He has more punts than Gurley has carries. From the eight. That's, a, that's incredible. Reagan, Reagan. Was that Ronald Reagan? I feel like he called it Reagan. There's the carry by Michelle right into the arms of Johnson. And obviously, Reagan means run to the right. <laughs> All the different kind of signals and cadences there's to come up with in your career this kid right here is adapted to anything they're throwing at him yes he has and I tell you he's got five touchdowns in the postseason since they've morphed this offense once they lost Josh Gordon they become a downhill running team and you can tell right now they're trying to do that and it helps them for when they play action second and six as Burkhead had quick contact on him Fowler and Rocker is gonna have third coming up third and about four Tony well, that's a fantastic play by Brockers, 90 inside. He just pushes the double team, and then you see Fowler. Mouth guard goes a flying. <laughs> but Brockers split the double. He, he took on two guys, and then he got through a third and made the tackle. I mean, Brockers is really difficult in the run game. And the Rams stopped them back inside the 15. Well, they've got a double Edelman. When he motions, somebody has to help. Peters is on him. Here's the pass. He got away from him, and Edelman slips to a tackle. All the way across the 40. It was Peters who stayed with him on the pre-snap, but Edelman got away from him in a hurry, and now he's got a 27-yard play, the longest of the game on either side. Peters tries not to get beat outside, and by doing so, Edelman uses his leverage against him, and it's over. This needs to be a double team on Edelman on every third down. Edelman's not excited at all. <laughs> he's a passionate player, Jim, and I tell you, he's having one of his best games in a big time situation. We met with him a couple of weeks ago, and all he talked about is his entire career, and nothing's ever been easy. He was out and injured last year in the Super Bowl. Pass, I don't think it might have touched the ground. And his rule incomplete. Well, this is all Aaron Donald. He makes Brady not be able to step through this throw. And Donald just creates havoc. He's one on one. He's going to get to the quarterback. And when he does, Brady can't step through. And it makes Brady short step, throw it in the dirt.
Aaron Donald already in his fifth season four times first team all pro and again back to back defensive player of the year only Khalil Mack received votes other than him as Edelman takes the quick toss for the wide receiver screen for about seven or eight we've got an injury report coming from Evan I uh, still real surprise here Patrick Chung walked immediately to the x-ray room with an air cast on that right arm he is officially out for this game a huge loss to that secondary for New England he's one of their main communicators guys big leader on that team too he's a big leader we talked about it just his ability to move around get to different spots and then understand their system now Tom's looking out wide he wants to see who's on the back he motions him back in that's James White third and two Brady's pass incomplete Peter's got a hand on it well I tell you that's the game it's I'm finding Edelman you got to cover him and Edelman let's see if Peters holds him a little or not actually Peters never did touch it Edelman looked around one of the flag tight coverage the assistants loved it <laughs> you always love it when it's fourth down <laughs> right in front of you but that's the thing I got to get up there and be physical they've been way too soft with him if he's gonna make you miss make a miss at the line of scrimmage Natson waiting for the Allen punt line drive boot bounces at the five dead ball perfectly played Slater whose father Jackie was a Hall of Fame right tackle for the Los Angeles Rams. Goff coming back out. 3 0 New England. Penalty. Belichick, Brady. You're never going to see that again. And you got to give Robert Kraft credit. How about the trade of Belichick? That last play, the, the penalty was declined. So that was a second and eight play. I mean, really, they made a trade, right? To start this thing. Well, he had about a, what, one day with the New York Jets. <laughs> yeah, and they, they got him there. And I guess that was the start of this. But. Here we go, third and six in your own part of the field coming out. This is the time where you want to confuse the quarterback and make him throw it right to you. This ball needs to be, I'd be throwing a screen or something faster. Don't make your quarterback read a whole bunch. That's Gurley at the top, coming back in motion. Need to get to the 12 for a first. From the end zone in trouble, heaves it, but did not get back. Anywhere close to anyone and not even to the line of scrimmage. The pressure by Hightower. And Hightower does a great job getting getting pushed back all the way into the quarterback. But the coverage is, I mean, there's nothing open. Goff's going through it and Belichick has it just swallowed up everywhere. This is hard to watch. I mean, this is how many punts in a row now? Well, this is going to be the eighth one. Eight how many consecutive possessions. possessions. Ending in a punt for Hecker. From the end zone, he punts it. Didn't catch it. Hits it to 45 and takes off. Oh, my goodness. This could be the longest punt in Super Bowl history. Oh, you've been waiting for a good uh, stat like that. That's it. it. That's the highlight of the game. <laughs> it is by one yard. <laughs> How long? He breaks Ryan Allen's record of 64. That one goes for 65. It's getting exciting now their Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee. He's done so many great things in the area, including supporting a juvenile justice reform law that's recently been proposed in Massachusetts. Of course, he has his brother, his twin, Jason, in the secondary with him tonight, the Super Bowl's first twin teammates. Here's a run by Burkhead for about four. So we have a Super Bowl record finally in the books tonight, and it was that 65-yard punt, albeit 27 after the bounce. And now Brady and the Patriots, they're moving along 238 yards of offense versus 82 by Los Angeles. That's all it's been. Yeah, but it's 3-0. to zero. Let's, It feels like the Rams have no chance right. in some ways, but it's, it's you're one turnover away from winning the game if you're score on defense this this Rams team they need to score on defense flag is out as white makes the catch and is out of bounds after a first down well if that's what you're looking for the Patriots did not allow a non offensive touchdown the entire season no Illegal returns shift. two men moving offense five-yard penalty replay 
Second down. So if that were to happen, it'd be the first time all year anybody scored in the return game or on defense. Uh, similar to like anybody missing a kick in the stadium? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, though. It's obviously not likely. But I think you just, you keep playing the Rams, and it, you know, I, it's hard to describe that the Rams have a chance to win this, but they do. It's just, you just don't, it's just one possession, one big play. Second and 13, first offensive penalty of the game against New England. Edelman's on the right side, working in the middle of the field, and they find him. Brady finds him at the 34. Pass play for eight on a ninth reception of the game. Well, that's a great job by Brady staying in the pocket, sliding, and then firing and getting back into a position to get this first down. And it's a big third down. The third and five, Edelman with nine catches of the 17 completions for Brady tonight. So watch. Just a simple motion. Once again, whenever Edelman's going over here, you've got to double team him. Here comes the pressure. Brady unloads it deep for Hogan. And it's incomplete. No flag out. Peters broke it up. Just a fantastic job. He had help outside, inside. So Peters, don't lose your leverage. Stay outside. And Hogan just doesn't. Give him anything, and it's a simple just corner route, but Edelman got swallowed up on the double team inside there. And that is the first time they took him away, and Brady had to let it go deep. Here's Ryan Allen. Hunt flies to the 25, and then Natson is swarmed under by Slater. Crossing there also. Brady moving in on 200 yards passing after having his first throw of the night intercepted. But Goff just five out of 15 for 52 yards, and he's been sacked twice. They've got to, to me, it's time now. You don't change completely your identity, okay? We're still trying. There has to be, get these guys off of you. Belichick's been one step ahead. Every time you're taking a shot or trying to, like, third and one, two, play action, he's playing cover two. Go against your tendencies now. Take your shot on a different down and distance. Run the ball on, like, a third and five. You got to do different things at this point. Gonna throw on first down and get the connection for about seven to Reynolds. And when you look at their possession chart, how about this? The longest drive through the first eight possessions, five plays, Tony. I'm just circling to let you know. Yeah, that's how many punts in the game. Because I know not everybody could read all that. All of them. And none of these plays have been for more than five. No drive has been more than five plays in the entire game for the Rams. No way you have any rhythm off of a possession chart like that. Here's Anderson diving ahead, and he's got a first down. Their fourth of the night. We see signs of life. It's, it's starting to get in gear now. Well, that's the thing, though. First down pass, second down run, third down, whatever's against. You've got to go against your tendency now. He got you. Okay, give him credit. Now you go back away from him. There you go. They also play quicker here to the line. Goff throws, completes it to Cooks. And finally, the Rams put together a nice little three-play sequence and another first down. Well, they just, it's a simple comeback route from a cut split. Goes up, breaks out, ball on time. But it's just a tendency breaker. I mean, how many times have they come out and tried to hand that ball off on first down? Now it just... Now you're in a position you can do anything you want. That was third, the third catch of the game for Cooks, who played in the Super Bowl last year for the Patriots and got knocked out in the first half with a head injury. The game against Philadelphia. There he goes in motion. And he'll run it. And as Anderson dives for about five, maybe four, when they needed to get another backup to Gurley, and you see Brian Flores, Flo they call him, the signal caller on that defense for New England. And tomorrow he'll be officially announced as the next head coach of the Miami Dolphins, officially. Is it ever official before it's official? I think, yeah. I think it's been official for, what, two weeks? Okay, it's official. Anderson right. stays in the game, second and we'll call it seven. Coming after golf, and he throws it on the back of Anderson because Lawrence Guy was bearing down on him. 
Well, this is a great job, actually. But look at the right guard right there. Austin Blythe just gets beat. Lawrence Guy describes the pressure. It's actually the golf. It's a wonderful job to hit your guy in his back. You should usually run a route or turn around. It's Gurley on the sideline. A third down coming up. 0 for 8 on third. Six defensive backs in for the Patriots. It's time to stand in, slide in the pocket, and make a big throw if you're golf. Coming after him. Stands in there and completes it to Woods. Down to the 29. He did exactly what you said he had to do, Tony. Well, just, just look at how he takes this pressure right in his face. And he that's how you're going to win. That's how you're going to win this game. Tom Brady's had to do it this whole game. Goff the same way. You want to win the Super Bowl, you want to win big game, you stand in there, take the hit, fire that ball as if no one's around you. He had to take the hit of Trey Flowers. And he was able to deliver the goods to Woods. Now in new territory for the night is Los Angeles. We got a timeout called by the Rams as the play clock was down to two. As we take a look from our Bud Light Skycam. Just when they're starting to get into a little rhythm, they have to burn one of those valuable second half timeouts. Well, the nice thing, though, is that at least they're giving their the defense for the Rams has played outstanding. At least they're giving them a break right now. The difficult part, and I actually like them taking their time coming out of the huddle because it's actually given their defense a breather. When you keep going three plays, four plays, punt, three plays, punt, five plays, punt, those guys are playing outstanding on the other side of the ball. But at some point, that pass rush, it's going to be difficult. Tom Brady's run a lot of plays against them. It's going to affect them as this game moves on, unless your offense can control the ball and use up clock. And they're doing that on this drive. Now the Patriots need to stand up right here and stop this play action. Here it is. Goff steps up. He's going for the big ball. To the end zone! Oh, and it's knocked out of his hands. Cooks was waiting for it. And it was McCourty, Jason McCourty, who caught up in time to knock it out. Well, here's the crazy part. This is where Patrick Chung, the difference is the communication. It is an unbelievable play by Jason McCourty. He's not supposed to be there. He comes from the opposite side of the field and makes that play. And I think if Chung's out there, he doesn't get that wide open. They had a touchdown. Yes, they did. And you saw both McCourty's in the frame, one watching, the other making the play. Jason in his first postseason. Big defensive gym there. Second and ten. Swing it over. Anderson. Patriots are there. And it's Devin McCourty who bumps him out. So now they got a big third down and seven on the way. Well, third and seven. You're going to get some form of a pretend pressure from Belichick that he's done throughout the game. He likes to double a lot of people at different times, but I think he's had too much success to go away from it. Another time for you to stand in and throw this ball. To the 19 for a first. Coming after him. Oh, they take him way back. Now forcing a long field goal attempt. Had it been an incompletion, it would have been 44 yards. Now it'll be 50 plus. It was Hightower first, Van Noy second to get to Goff. And it's a five-man rush. They're not pressured with a lot of guys, but Goff gets caught looking downfield, and the running back was open. What a monster sack by Hightower. Now here we go. Greg the leg, who sent him here with his 57-yard winning kick in overtime. Only four all-time in the Super Bowl. Field goals made from plus 50. This is 53 yards to tie it. And Sirline's kick is good. And the game is tied at three. Well, I can't believe it. We got points. Yes, we do. Three to three, and it feels like we got a scoring spree going on. Commissioner Roger Goodell will be presenting the Lombardi Trophy.
when this one's over. 2-11 to go in the third quarter. That 53-yard kick, it's the first 50-yard field goal made in the Super Bowl in 15 years since John Casey of the Panthers had one against New England down in Houston. Zerline's kick, and it had some movement to it, didn't it? It looked like at one time he might miss it right, and it then suddenly changed direction and was just fine inside that right upright. Hey, I've been on the uh, injury report for the last week or two in a boot, in fact, off of the NFC Championship game, but was able to get back to full practice on Friday. And uh, Jay Feely didn't see any of the signs of uh, an injured foot on that, uh, uh, albeit it was the plant foot. Zerline once again coming through. Jeremy certainly has. And on the opening kickoff, he had to make the tackle. He's been bothered on the sidelines. Give him a ton of credit because he's playing through injury a lot more than people know. Okay, Patriots back now to 25 with James White in the backfield and getting the handle. Donald is there. Rockers as well. Was that our kicker saying give the credit to a kicker yes. for playing through pain? <laughs> I wonder what John Madden had to stand up for one. He's watching lunch. this game. Just like, I mean, you know, these, these D linemen are a little banged up too. It's been a kicker's game so far. Yeah, they call him Greg the Leg, or actually, the other day, Sean McVay called him Legatron. <laughs> so, <laughs> both of those work for me. Second and nine. It's a flag. And the tackle immediately by Barron on James White. Yeah, this has got to be a hold. White ran a great route. I think uh, he'll take the penalty, replay, second down. Prior First to down, the actually. pass, holding, defense, number 26, five yard penalty, automatic. First down. Automatic first down. Right here. Yeah, just grab that jersey right there. They call that every time when you grab hold of the uniform like that. And it's at the 31 now with a new set of downs. And on the toss they go. Michelle breaks it. Michelle Hogan throws a block. And he's all the way out to the 50. He escaped Brockers and is able to run it on the switchback for 19. Well, Shaq Mason, the right guard, double teams, and then he gets up and blocks out. James Devlin with a great block. They set this play up. They keep handing it downhill, downhill. Then they toss, and they make you go wide. And now they get right back up. From they the 50. Break. Right back to him. Michelle bang back after four. Staying committed. Michelle, who played here just 13 months ago in the national title game for Georgia, a game that Alabama won in overtime, a thriller that one was. The balance right on New England. I mean, I know it's a tough sled, but it's 20 runs. They're just staying committed. They don't. They knew that all the drop back stuff is just not going to win this football game. Final seconds of the third. Third straight carry. Michelle stacked up. Stacked up. The third down play will start the fourth quarter. It's the first Sur Super Bowl ever without a touchdown through three quarters. Jim Nance, Tony Romo, Mike Arnold directing, Jim Rickoff, first producer seat for him at a Super Bowl. Ryan Galvin, our replay producer. Here we go, 15 minutes to play in Atlanta. Third and four. Raised pass, knocked down and complete. That's Littleton, who denied it to White. And it's a great job by Littleton, but it's also the pressure on Brady where he has no choice. He can't, he can't scan back across the field. I mean, it's perfect defense. But look at Sue push Cannon right into Brady. I mean, that's, that's exactly what you got to do to Brady. You push the pocket. Everyone talks about from the middle. It can come from anywhere if you're pushing the guy. Allen's punt. 
Bounces but a putt. It hit at the one with a little backspin. And Cardona, the long snapper, downed it. He's done that a couple of times as Ryan Allen. Beautiful job. I would say right now the MVP race uh, for this game is down to Ryan Allen, Johnny Hecker, Greg Zerline, <laughs> Greg Kasau uh, Steve Gostowski, or maybe even Matthew Slater. What do you think? All the household names <laughs> yes, right there. Yes. Well, this is this is incredible, and they are because they played for the Patriots, a lot of them for so long, and then Becker last week. I mean, this is this is it, though. First and ten, you got another job inside the ten. Low scoring game for three quarters. First time with no touchdown in the first three quarters. Blah blah blah. No one's scoring touchdowns. No one's moving the ball. Guess what? It's a tie game in the Super Bowl, and someone's going to win a championship from the seven. Play action. Fake to Anderson. Goes to Anderson. Turns around on Hightower. Good effort by Anderson to turn what could have been a two-yard gain into a nine-yard pickup. Goff, great job getting rid of it right before he gets hit. And Anderson just using that size. But you see right there, this is how the game's going to be won. You got to take the hits and fire the ball under duress. Continue to go with Anderson with Gurley on the sideline. Gurley, eight carries, 35 yards. Anderson, six for 18. He just made a catch for nine. That's a quarterback flaw. He changes the play. Ball start, offense, five yard penalty, second down. Take him out of a second and one to a second and six. Well, watch Goff. He thinks it's on one. He's like, oh no, I, sh I called it on two. When you start thinking and going through a lot of plays at the line of scrimmage, sometimes you just forget that subtlety. That's their fourth pre-snap penalty. And now they backtrack to the 11. Ball on Anderson, races outside. Gilmore, he still balls, balls out, and it goes out of bounds. Oh, as he delivered a stiff arm, the football was left behind. This is... This is it. Two tight ends, and you just hand off. Now cut and bounce outside. That's how you got to run the ball. And wow, Gilmore with a perfect punch to get that ball out. And that really is fortunate for the Rams. Took a while for that pick skin to roll to the sideline. Yes, it did. Third and two. Third and two with 13 and a half to go. Here's Goff looking right. Completes it for the first to Cooks, who rolls over for an extra yard. And the Rams have a little breathing room after the gain of eight. Goff slides right, but Cooks comes all the way across the field. He's got to find a soft spot. Stay right there. Stay, stay, stay. Find it. And then Goff throws it to him. And lose the chains. Gurley's in, Tony. Gurley comes back in. Well, it's just a pass. They want him in pass pro and then throw it to him. Here it comes over to Gurley. Diving catch and a loss of one. John Simon was over there to make that play ineffective. Let's go to Trace. Well, thanks, Jim. When I spoke to Sean McVay coming out of the locker room, he told me it's not the knee that's limiting him. They will continue to rotate between him and C.J. Anderson. But I can tell you, C.J. Anderson, constant conversations with Gurley on the sideline, trying to be that mentor he was brought to be, trying to keep Gurley focused. We'll see if he can get something going on this drive, Jim. Second and 11. And a timeout called by New England. Patriots defense takes the timeout with 12 23 to go. Hightower was with the training crew during that timeout, taping up his left hand. Chung has come back out after the x rays and out for the remainder of this game. Let's bring in Evan real quick from that sideline. Dante Hightower, guys, is in some discomfort with that left hand. They've taped, taken off the glove, retaped it a couple times. He's trying to flex through it. As you can see, he's continuing to be on the sideline, taking a lot of fluids as well. We'll have to monitor it as it develops. Second and 11. Goff. 
lot of pressure around his feet. Throws it incomplete. Jackson on the coverage. This is really just Bill Belichick special. I want you to watch these combinations of these guys that go over here and they go. Watch how many guys by the Patriots are all over here waiting on these routes. I mean, there's nowhere for you to go. They know what's coming right now. And Goff's trying to stand in. There's just not a lot of stuff. It's really hard when Belichick has a beat on you. Third and 11. Fires it over the head of Reynolds. And we've got a flag. This could be holding on defense. The flag is out at the 39 yard line. Prior to the pass, holding, defense, number 24, five yard penalty, automatic, first down. That came on third and 11. And Gilmore, I just, I watched the route, and when he was running it, he ran it, but then he kind of just hold, like holds him right here all the way and then doesn't really let go at the top. It's kind of an easy call. Cooks has a route where he just turns and comes back to the quarterback. First defensive penalty on New England tonight. And Goff, who has been knocked down many times in this game. It's just, it's tough sledding. Gurley, the running back. Fake it to him. Steps up, connects, cooks. 44-yard line, right in front of Gilmore. Best throw of the game for Goff. Cook's gonna go up, and then boom, right back. Same exact route combination. They didn't think that Gilmore was gonna sit on it, and they were correct. You run him up, you sit and come back to the quarterback, and Goff throws it early. I'm starting to feel it. Now, you can do a lot. Just get up and hand this ball off. You could play action here, you could do anything. A drive that started back at the seven. Gurley. Gurley makes a cut. And Gurley races for about 12 or 13. Got a flag. Looks like it might be holding on the Rams this time. Holding. Offense. Number 65. 10-yard penalty replay. First down. Called on the center. John Sullivan. Center John Sullivan, 65. He's in the middle. And it's uh, not a call I would make in that specific case, since you can find that a lot in the trenches. Mm. Hightower comes back onto the field. First and 20. Looks like Goff has a cut on his left hand. He's cut. Keeps You're telling me he's cut? <laughs> and he's still standing. <laughs> and he's running, trying to get away. And he gets hit on the sideline. Well, I can tell you right now, that's, that feels worse than his cut. That's a big time shot on that sideline. Jonathan Jones was the one who hit him. Jones gets a 15 yard running start, and Goff's trying to find someone down the field. Right there. Ooh. Was it late? It's always a judgment call there. What do you think, Gene? Uh, I don't know if it was Even late. Even though he's going out of bounds, he is still in bounds when the contact occurs, Jim, so uh, he's free to get hit like that. Okay. A loss of two. It goes in the books as a sack, the fourth of the game. Registered by that defense. Second and 22, and look at this pass. Way down the field and over the head of Cooks. Gilmore was step for step by his side. This is going to be the one they want back. I want you to watch. This is a staple for them. And just go ahead and look at the bottom of your screen. You're going to have a deep in cut wide open, and he may score or at least get all the way down to the 20-yard line. And they throw that a lot on third down and second down. And it's just one of those times you take a shot somewhere else, and you look back at the tape the next day, and you're like, oh. That could have been a difference. Now what do you do on third and 22? You do the same thing you just did, but you already did it, so you can't. Now you just got to hand the ball off. Gives it to Gurley, and that loses a yard. 
Van Noy was there standing his ground, allowing Trey Flowers to finish it off. And you see how they're all going vertical? You see how he shot the gap? He didn't run, they're not running sideways. That's where all the teams get in trouble against the Rams. When you look back at this tape, you're gonna find they controlled the line of scrimmage by going straight downhill at the Rams. They didn't go sideways like a lot of other teams would have been gashed. There's Hecker. Hits at the 31. There's 10 postseason games to get here. That's 266 total. And you think, man, there's all these crazy things happening during the season, all these high-scoring affairs. Well, guess what? <laughs> Not in the in the ultimate game. And then you look at Belichick's eight previous Super Bowls. They've all been one-score games. In fact, seven of the eight have been decided in the last three minutes or in overtime. Everyone talked about the, the year of the offense, yeah. right? It's all, it's, that's the future of the game, right? Yeah. Brady on first down, lofts it. Gronkowski has it. He was able to race away from Ebicom and pick up 18. Wow, this is just a pretend like I'm blocking the run game. You do it over and over again. And what you find is watch. You can see how he pops out. Right there, just a great job by Gronk selling a run. Fifth catch for Gronk tonight. for 58 yards total. What's that chant? Is that Brady? Sounds like it to me. Oh, you gotta watch out for a double move here, a Gronk up the seam, a running back down the sideline. Down the middle of that go. Who else? Edelman with yet another catch, his 10th. 10, 10 for 141. Edelman, one-on-one, -on -one, and he has the whole middle of the field to work. Everyone goes and guards a guy, there's no way you're gonna cover him in there. They're gonna come back to that, I can promise you. They just saw what that looked like. 10 receptions, eight of them going for first. And now it's possible pressure, Gronk up the scene, double move. It's a pass over to Burkhead. Bounced out by Peters. Came back with the exact same play. They just made it look different, Jim, with motion. It's the same thing. Gronk's running a seam, and Edelman's running right in the middle of the field. They are going to ride this play. Once they find you have a weakness, it's going to keep coming at you now. Giselle and the family trying to stay positive. Love the energy. She's in it, as I tell you. She knows how important this is to their family and how much this means to Tom. Same exact play again. Edelman over the middle. Second and three. Down the field. They go! Gronkowski has it at the two-yard line. It's the same play three times in a row. Edelman over the middle. Gronk on a seam. And the ball is perfectly thrown. And Littleton can't get there. Gronk lays out and catches it. Three plays in a row, the exact same, Jim. And Giselle's happy. And now the Patriots will run their first play in the red zone. The first one for the game on either side from the two. First and goal. Running it for the touchdown. Sony Michelle. Season. Three against the Chargers, two against the Chiefs, and now the first touchdown of Super Bowl 53. Look at that hole. They've been just doing this the entire playoffs. These are two of the most physical teams. They're in the Super Bowl for a reason, and you're getting a physical football game and one big play by Gronk. The third straight play in a row, the same thing, and they get it. And that pass was in the perfect window. Guskowski adds the extra point. What a block, by the way, by Devlin. Really surgical. I mean, just threw the hitch route to the back, throws it over the ball to Edelman, and then the seam on the same play. Three different guys on the exact same play call. And here we go. 
You know how important this is, everybody. Seven minutes to go in the Super Bowl. Gaskowski's kick will not be returned. Again, the two coaches, you got Belichick, the first to win five, trying to make it six, trying to become the oldest to ever win a Super Bowl, going against the guy that everybody went out that had a job opening this year, tried to find the next Sean McVay, 33-year-old, celebrated her birthday a couple days after the NFC Championship win in New Orleans, trying to become the youngest to ever hoist the Lombardi Trophy. Well, the young phenom needs to come up with something special right here because that grizzled veteran right there, yeah. He's the best that's ever walked. And he's on defense right now. But I can tell you, Sean, you've seen a whole game. This is where you can come up with something new, some kind of new play action, something they haven't seen that can get you going and start this right now. Coming after golf. Has to unload it. What a catch. Snagged by Cooks. And he's able to gallop ahead for a big gain. Perfect play call. This is, they set this play up four or five times and they've waited for this play and it's a screen pass and it's an unbelievable job by Flowers to get himself in there to almost make the play, but that's exactly what you needed to get momentum, get yourself moving, and now your quarterback has a little bit of feeling. You see how they're waiting in the huddle? At 15 seconds, the communication cuts off in your headset. Well, Belichick can't talk to the defense either. It's a genius idea that McVay's adjusted to in this game. Belichick can't communicate because he doesn't see where you're lined up. That pass play, the longest of the game for the Rams. It went for 19. It's Gurley. And they are on him quickly after one. As we approach six minutes to go. Ten carries, 35 yards for Gurley. Now, I'm a little hesitant. I would start to play a little faster being down seven, under six minutes to go with the game on the line, but this is what they've adjusted to. And I think it's because they don't want to leave the huddle until right around now, because Belichick can't communicate now. At 15, they cut off communication with the quarterback and the linebackers are safety on defense. Second and nine. Again, pressure. He felt the Patriots coming. They were by his feet, knocked him down again. It was Van Noy. It's just amazing how much pressure they put on golf in this game. Well, this is not the Rams. They're a play action team, a running team. We said it to start the game. If they have to drop back to pass to win this game, it's going to be hard. Goff had been sacked only one time in 70 dropbacks in the first two playoff games. He's been decked four times in this one and knocked down several other times other than those sacks. Third and nine. Gets it. Reynolds has the first down. Able to slice past the first down yardage with McCourty behind him. And there you go. Reynolds again. Comes across the field. He's being singled up multiple times in this game. That's the guy you're going to have to go to, I think. Ooh, that ball was close to coming out for Reynolds. First down at the 44. Gurley looking long. I mean, uh, Goff looking long. He can, able to complete it to Woods. And Robert Woods has a catch inside the 30. This, this should not be open. Watch Robert Woods. He's got Jones outside, and he still beats his leverage. He sells him inside and then somehow comes downhill and Goff with a bullet right on the sideline. Two of his best throws of the game. Rams now finally starting to look fluid on offense with four and a half to play. Pass, caught, no! In and out of the hands of Cooks. It would have been a touchdown. He got hit and hammered by Harmon and Kilmore. Oh, this is a perfect throw. Cooks has a chance. Let's see. Gilmore grabs his arm just a little bit. Harmon comes over. Got to make that catch. I think it is, but Gilmore's got a little bit of his arm right there, so he can't bring the left up. But he does have the right right there. It's tough to see all that. Second and ten. Run to 27. Well, you know they're taking shots down the field now. Blitz to the end zone, and it's intercepted at the three-yard line. Gilmore jumps up and grabs it. Goff had to unload it. They were blitzing. 
pressing him. They went all out pressure. Belichick waited the whole game to send it, and Gilmore wasn't going to get beat deep, waiting for the big time interception. A look from our Bud Light Sky Cam. It was 17 years ago tonight. I mentioned his name earlier, number 24, Ty Law. Had a pick six in the Super Bowl for the Patriots against the Rams. 24 now. Gilmore comes up with the big takeaway here in the last five minutes of this game. The interception by Gilmore graded out as the top rated corner in football this year. First team all pro. But still four and change to go. Two timeouts for each side. New England from the four yard line. Michelle's the running back. Michelle. Contact a yard beyond the line of scrimmage. Well, on the interception, we say cover zero or all out pressure. Well, the back can only take one of these two guys. That means. That cover zero all out means we can't block everybody. Goff knows it, he's got to throw it. And it was shocking, and you see the reaction from the Kraft family, and they know how close this is right now. This first down, though, is... They're used to seeing them close out with the first down or two and win these games. Second and nine run, that's a first down run. For Michelle taking off into the secondary all the way out to the 30. And just watch the block by 62, Joe Tooney pulling guard. Just a perfect seal on Barron. And it just, I mean, they just timed it up perfect with a new play there. Made you look this way, and then they brought that counter right back at you. 26 yards for number 26. Well, Goff looking at the interception throw on the tablet on the sideline. 2.52 to go. First down. And a flag comes out. Ooh, that's the worst case scenario for the Patriots right there if that's on them. Illegal use of hands to the face. Defense. Ooh. Number 56. Five yard penalty. Automatic first down. Called on Dante Fowler. That's his second penalty of the game. Well, he's going toe to toe with a tight end and he's trying to stand up in the run game. You can see it right there. You can't do that. And right up the face. That's a good call. No one needs me to say how big one first down is. Almost ending the game if they can get one. Back to Michelle. Dragged down, 42-yard line. This should be a timeout by the Rams. Block is running. Now, now the signal. A couple of seconds still running off. Got a signal down to the field. I think they're going to reset the clock a little bit because well, they should. Four or five seconds before that, I saw the signal. We'll see if they adjust it off to 233. Well, the big one's going to be if you could take this down to the two minute warning, no matter what, they're going to adjust this clock right here. Timeout Los Angeles. Please reset the game clock. 242. 242. Had nine seconds remaining. for him. So we're going to have. You have two options here now. This is where you can run two times and hope you get a first down. If you do that, they're going to take a timeout. It's going to go down to the two-minute warning, and you're punting back to probably around the 20-yard line for the Rams with minute 50 to go in the game. That is not the Patriots' style. They may run it once, and they may believe in the run game where they come out and run it on this down right here. But you can bet what happens over time on that third down play, they're going to pass if they're in third and five or third and more than four. They're very aggressive on that third down call. 
more than most teams, but this should be a run to make them use their final timeout. Burkhead, who scored the game winner in overtime at Kansas City, is the tailback and the ball carrier. That's Burkhead. Look at him go! Burkhead all the way to the Rams 33 before Peters was able to finish the play. 26-yard run by Burkhead. Devlin, Gronkowski, watch these two, because this is who's carried them in the run game in the playoffs. Look at both of them create holes. This offensive line, the ability for them to mesh. Dante Skarnecchia, the offensive line coach. Patrick Chung likes it with his one good arm. <laughs> People are happy in New England. Big time run for the Patriots. Coming up, the Verizon postgame show. JB, Phil, Nate Boomer, Coach Cower. Highlights and analysis of the game, the presentation of the Lombardi Trophy, and we'll find out who's named the Super Bowl MVP. Coming up on the Verizon Post Game Show. Well, they had a 26 yard run when they were pinned inside the 10 by Michelle, and then Burkhead gets a 26 yard run right there. And you know why? All the plays in the first half mattered. All the time that the offense didn't create any yards, no first downs in that first half, this defense was on that field. They played unbelievable. They stood up over and over again for the Rams. But they just, you can't play that many plays that much, be on the field the whole game. It just ends up, you're going to feel it at some point, and you just saw how that happened. You saw a blank stare from McVay. You saw a lot of emotion in the eyes of Cooks, who had a chance to grab a touchdown and could have tied it. Got a flag out as Michelle takes it for a gain of about four. This is big. Here's why. This is a, this is a huge call because you could actually decline this, and then the clock will stop, I believe, and it's going to be second down. It's like having a timeout. You shouldn't take this penalty. Can I bring Gene in here to discuss this? Because I believe you could keep this and. And you could use it like a timeout. It's second down. It without, without a question, Tony, accepted or declined. The next play will start on the snap. But you so. need the downs, Gene. So it's like you need Correct. to go to second down, even though you got some yards. Agree. Ah. There's two fouls in the play. Both are by the offense. Holding. Offense, number 87. Penalties declined. Illegal use of hands. Hands to the face. Offense, number 77. Penalties is accepted. 10-yard penalty replay. First Ooh. down. No. You no, see, you, you you see an official coming in. He may be coming in from that sideline to he, check with John Perry he on needs, this tone. He needs to decline this and make it second down, and the clock doesn't run. Oh, you see Brown right there. That's hands to the face. Yeah, on Aaron Donald. Okay, so it looks like he whispered it's going to be second down. Didn't hear Perry, but it, it sure looks like after reevaluation, they're going to make it second down, and the Rams are going to refuse those penalties. This has come up before, and this has just given the Rams an extra timeout. Does it matter yet if you can make sure you make a field goal or something? It will matter if you get this ball back and it's a one score game. That's the number one thing you do at the end when you're trying to run the game no holding penalties. Because unless you get 10 yards, they're going to decline it. Belichick looking for an explanation. 225, second and six. It's a different way to run the ball. Rock motions in the other way. You toss it. Michelle through traffic. Gets within a yard of the first. And that'll take it down to two minutes. And you see, though, the difference in what it should have been. It should have been second down, down to two minutes. Third and one coming out of it. Two minutes away from number six for this guy. When all that talk about the penalties against New England, you, do you refuse them or you take them? If you had taken it, you would have been back to the 43-yard line and taken them out of field goal range. What would you say to that? Well, you're just going to run 
three plays and what's going to or two more plays three plays actually and you're going to give the ball back with 20 seconds mm -hmm. and punt it even if you don't get anywhere and you're going to have to go 90 yards for a touchdown so it's here's a third and one this is the play because you can stop them and it's going to be an interesting mark here i think they're short it's just like you said now you, you the other way i don't think you have a chance this way you have a chance That ball's short. It was Fowler who had hold of him. And then it's Joyner who makes sure that he doesn't get that last inch or two. There's nothing there that shows me the ball's across that line. I and mean, this is. Season on the line. Now, what do you say? Uh, you say fourth down if you're. I have no idea. Fourth down. <laughs> hey, do you go ahead and kick it, go up 10, or do you just close it out, try to get the inch or two, and finish it off? Oh, my goodness. It's the worst possible scenario for a head coach, but Belichick. Hey, Chiefs territory, got a business card on you right now? I think, was, I think we got to go to the index card on this one, Jim, yes. <laughs> Didn't know if you had them. Now that you're a uh, big TV guy, I thought maybe a business card might be in the pocket. Fourth and inches, here they go. You take it down and take a timeout is what you do. You don't run a play here. You go down to one second, you take a timeout. This is too big of a decision to make just on a whim. You've got to sit there at Belichick's. Basically, you got to, how much do you trust your kicker? How much do you trust the middle of the field? Here's what I don't like. They have Sue and Donald in the A-gap. You want inches, you can quarterback sneak it Second. all you want. Charge I don't trust that. I'm kicking second. the field goal. I know Goskowski. How good is he, Jim? Oh, and you're talking about the all-time leading scorer in Patriot history. Okay, he's missed one today. What are the percentages this guy misses two in a game? Uh, not very high. He's 27 out of 32 on the season. I mean... It... This is his sixth Super Bowl he's kicked in. So tied for second most. This is where, though, Belichick's got to be asking Brady and McDaniels, do we have a play? Do you love a play? Is there something that's 100% we get it? If not... We're kicking. They're kicking. Here he comes. It's going to be 41, 42 yards, somewhere in that neighborhood. In fact, he made one from 42 in the first half. Now, the Rams have blocked five kicks over the last two years, four uh, of them by Littleton. Well, you didn't say that. Mm. Well, now that plays a role. Yep. It's going to be 41 yards where Ryan Allen is going to put it down. Here it is. I'm going on on a limb and saying this is to win the Super Bowl. 116 to go, 41 yards. Cardona to Allen. Skowski. Nine appearances. And this didn't get in by much. Good snap. Good hold. And it does go in. And when you're good, it always finds a way when it matters. And I tell you what, how about the drive to go close it out? Well, that drive and the touchdown drive, 10 points in the quarter for New England. They've been here. They've been in so many close games. They just know how to do it and you see Tom Brady enjoy him folks you're never ever gonna see it again not in our lifetime nope Gronkowski you don't know might be his final game by the way Gaskowski in the fourth quarter he's made 30 of his last 31 with that one well that's that's what you wanted to hear they started that drive at their own four after the pick by Gilmore they drive 72 yards to set up the field goal that makes it a two-score game. I don't think 
New England's ever been doubted more in a season. They always get doubted when they lose a game. Well, they lost five games. They were three and five on the road. And the five teams that beat them didn't qualify for the postseason. It's hard to imagine. Their that, five losses were to teams not good enough to be in the playoffs. Never doubt. But did they come out looking like a different team after they got the bye week on wild card weekend? They changed their team. Nobody can morph from week to week or from midseason to the end of the season or from a playoff game. They just changed who they were. They started completely running the ball right at you and became an old school football team in a new school league. There's Goff's pass, sideline incomplete for Woods. You saw all these small linebackers trying to fit gaps against New England. They couldn't do it because it was power football right at you. Fullbacks, tight ends in your face. Holding offense, number 79, 10-yard penalty, replay, first down. Well, all of this doubt that was hovering over this team, talking with Tom Brady midweek, he went on and on about how much they relished the role of really feeling like they were underdogs, which they found themselves in that role last week at Kansas City and all the doubters. It's been a long time since we kind of took on that persona. Worst thing that could have happened, you freed him up. Woods to the 26. You don't, you don't free up Michael Jordan. Yeah. Okay, you, you make sure this guy always has to have expectations and he has to deliver and make as soon as he's supposed to lose uh -uh, He's too good. He doesn't get a free pass. You give him one. He's gonna go ahead and make you pay second and ten with 40 seconds Cooks Picks up 24 you gotta take a shot to the end zone right here. I mean you no, know, it's a long shot of anything, but you got to. It's not about the middle field. You got to throw it. How about you try to pick up 10 or 15 yards and bring out Legatron and let him kick a field goal and try for an onside kick recovery and one Hail Mary throw? I would, I would take the Hail Mary early. So everyone, I agree with you. That's a great point, and you can do that. But right now, they're not in Hail Mary mode. You'll only have two safeties back there. This is your best Hail Mary chance. If Belichick's, see how he's telling everyone to go back right now? He's like, this, this could be a chance. There's no Hail Mary. You see how many guys are down around the line? You could take your shot, and it's three on three back there, or four on three at worst. Middle of the field. Caught by Cooks. He could get up and run with it. He wasn't touched, was he? Well, clock it. Yep. Now you bring out the kicker. Clock it and bring out the kicker. Their line will come out for about a 48-yard field goal. I mean, if you pull this off in terms of kick the field goal, then you do recover the onside kick, which seldom happens these days with the new rules. You still are going to be right at maybe, if you're fortunate, one second. If you were to get everything to go your way. So here's their line, part one, 48 yards. Continues. Yes, it does. They've got to snap it one more time. It ain't over. The and ball will end up in the hands of Tom Brady on the kneel down. And what did he say to us the other day? He says, I pray to win another Super Bowl. So help me. I'll never ask again. <laughs> Can I just get this one? He said. Until next year. Yeah, exactly. Then the reset. Yeah, he said, missed it. Belichick's going to become the oldest coach supplanting Tom Coughlin, who was 65 when he beat the Patriots in Super Bowl 46. And there it is. The dynasty continues. Sean McVay with a great season. Just ran into a tough one today. Physical game. Two physical teams.